Hi, this is Maureen from Advertising Analytics, and today I'm going to walk you through our new product called Admo. Admo is the only product on the market that combines capturing an advertiser's creative with their actual spending, so you'll know how much people are spending and which advertisements they're airing. When you first log into Admo, you will be directed to the Republican First Democrat Share a Voice page. When you log in, you will see six tabs at the top of the page that you will use throughout the product to navigate to different dashboards. On the top of each page, you will see nine filters that you will use throughout the product to filter the data on each page. The filters are date range, which you can use to select the time period you would like to view, party and type, which you can use to select the party and advertiser type you would like to view, advertiser, if you are looking to view a specific advertiser, election for a specific election, state, market, target, which explains the candidate that is being mentioned in the ad, tone, which explains the overall tone of the ad, and the ad's title. This first view shows all the ads that have run during your designated time range. For example, if I change the advertiser to Hillary for America, I will be able to see all of the ads that Hillary for America has placed in the last two weeks. The dates are presented in chronological order, with the first scene at the top and the most recent dates at the bottom. In this view, you will be able to see the date the ad was first seen, last seen, the market where it aired, the advertiser, the title of the ad, the number of broadcast dollars behind the ad, and the number of broadcast spots behind the ad. The color of the bars indicates whether the tone of the ad is negative, positive, or neutral. To get more details on the specific ad, simply hover over the bars. A box will come up telling you the title of the ad, the advertiser, the target of the ad, the tone, the spot length, the estimated broadcast cost, estimated broadcast spots, and the topic of the ad. Click on the bar to view a link to view the actual ad. Next, I will go over the share voice pie charts at the bottom of the page. First, I'm going to change the advertiser filter back to all so I can get a big picture of all the advertisers that have aired spots in the last two weeks. You will see there are two pie charts on the bottom of the page. The pie chart on the left shows the Republican versus Democrat share of voice over your selected time range, in this case, the last two weeks. The share of voice percentage in the center of the circle can be calculated based off the number of broadcast dollars spent or the number of broadcast spots aired. You can switch using this filter in the top left. You can then dig deeper into the data to see which advertisers are making up the 37% of spots on the GOP side and the 63% of spots on the Democrat side. Click a section on the pie chart to see the data filter on the bar charts to the right. This top bar chart is the advertiser bar chart, which is now set to Democrat. It shows which advertisers are making up that 63% Democrat share voice. We can then drill deeper into the data to see the specific advertisements each advertiser is airing simply by clicking on the bar. Clicking on Hillary for America has now filtered the bottom creative bar chart to show me only the advertisements that Hillary for America has aired in the last two weeks. In this bar chart, I have another opportunity to view the ad simply by clicking on the bar and clicking on the view ad link. The pie chart on the right also displays the share of voice, but only for this week. The functionality is exactly the same as the pie chart on the left. Click on a piece of the pie to see the advertisers that make up that slice, and click on an advertiser to see its creative. To view the complete change of Republican versus Democrat share of voice over time, click the view as a trendline button. Next, I will show you the page that analyzes the specific ad's tone. On this page, you'll see that we have the same filters as on the share voice page. The color legend is different from on the first page in that instead of just showing whether the ad is positive, negative, or neutral, it also shows whether the advertiser is Republican, Democrat, or independent. In this instance, our only options are negative Democrat, negative Republican, positive Democrat, and positive Republican. The purpose of this first chart is to show whether there are any shifts in tone over time. The lengths of the bars now represent the time range. In this case, this ad was first seen on July 21st and last seen on July 26th. Similar to the first page, to view the ad, simply click on a bar and click the view ad link. 
You can also view additional information about the ad again by hovering over the bar and seeing this white box pop up. In this chart, the advertisements are put in order by market, with the markets with the most spending on top and the markets with the least spending on the bottom. Similar to on the first page, we have two pie charts on the bottom. The pie on the left side analyzes the tone of the GOP ads for the given time range. Again, the percentage in the center of the pie chart can be based on the number of broadcast spots or the amount of broadcast dollars. The functionality of these pie charts is extremely similar to the pie charts on the first page. You can click a slice of the pie to see the advertisers that make up that slice and then click on an advertiser to see that advertiser's creative. Again, you can click on the bar to view the ad. The pie chart on the right works the same as the pie chart on the left, except now it only shows the Democrat advertisers and creative. The next tab I will show you is the traffic tab. For this example, I'm gonna to filter to one advertiser. Let's stick with Hillary for America. The purpose of this page is to view an advertiser's traffic changes. Click on an advertiser to populate the table below. On this traffic statistics table, we are able to easily see the advertiser's markets, flight dates, spots, number of days each spot aired, the spending behind each spot, and the number of spots that aired. The goal is to be able to identify patterns to help anticipate future traffic changes. The average values for all of these traffic statistics is displayed on the bottom line of the table. Next, I will walk you through the messaging tab in this view, you have the same filters that you have used throughout Admo, with the exception that the value displayed toggle is now at the top. On this top bar chart, you can see the number of broadcast spots or amount of broadcast dollars behind a specific message for a single advertiser or multiple advertisers. Below the bar chart is a line chart, which displays the amount of broadcast dollars behind a certain message over time. You can use the bar chart as a filter to look at just one topic or use control to multi-select and view two or more topics against each other. Below the line chart is a log of the individual advertisements that are represented in the above views. To view an ad, simply click play. The percentages on the right indicate the percent of broadcast dollars or broadcast spots that the specific topic is making up out of all of the topics in the view. Lastly, I will show you the competitive overview tab. The data on this tab is powered by Delta, so the filters don't correspond to the filters on the previous views. Similarly to the previous tabs, we have date range, party and type, advertiser, election, state, and market, but now we also have team, which shows you which team the advertiser is supporting, and media type, which allows you to filter among broadcast, cable, and radio. The table below allows you to see spending that has been booked for a particular election. Unlike the ADMO data, you are now able to see spending that has been booked into the future. So I now have the option to see spending that is booked into the fall. You can use the slider to pick a date range or simply click on the date to select the specific date. Now I'm able to see all spending that has been booked from September 19th to election day. You can use the filters to narrow your view to only look at a specific election, a specific team, or specific media type. You can use the toggle to see the grand total or just look at the spending by particular week. You can get as granular or as broad with this data as you like. For more information on Admo or any of our other products, please visit us online at www.advertisinganalyticsllc.com.